They say MS is a one-way street. That once the damage is done, it's permanent. But what if that's not true? What if you could actually see healing on an MRI? This isn't clickbait. It's not theory. It's my brain, my spine, and my story. In the next few minutes, you'll see side-by-side -side MRI images. You'll learn what remodelation looks like, and you'll watch as I bring in AI, an expert that never gets tired or biased, to look into my head, track the damage, and analyze the healing. Not just from one scan, but from 12 years of MRI history. Dozens of scans across my brain and spine, and you'll understand what sparked it. Not just medication, but movement, nutrition, and a mindset shift. Because even if one person sees this and realizes their future isn't fixed, then this scan wasn't just for me. It was for all of us. Yep. MRI, your C spine, your T spine, and then also uh, your brain. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it is going to be with that IV contrast, any yeah. adverse reaction. Nope. Perfect. Steven? Yep. Well, I just want to know how, how close I can get to the MRI machine. Can we get too close to say, take them off. We don't want to take them beyond the door. Yeah. To the door. Okay. I've had dozens of these, but these reports, the only thing they ever say is the same thing. No new lesions, no change. No one ever says, you're healing, you're growing. And since I don't have the expertise to read and analyze my own MRI scans, I'm trying to AI to give me eyes I haven't had until right now. MRI reports focus on what's missing, new lesions, enhancement, volume loss. But recovery isn't always loud. Sometimes it's quiet repair. Let me show you what that looks like. The left side is from 2022, the scan showing a large black void where inflammation had likely destroyed tissue. By 2025 right side, that same region shows restored brain matter, suggesting structural regrowth and possible remyelination. In the cervical cord, this T2 hyperintensity has resolved. The shape of the spinal cord has normalized. Signals that once screamed damage, now whisper repair. 2013. Not the beginning of your MS, but the beginning of your record. By now, nearly a decade of demyelination has taken its toll. We see chronic lesions, bright on T2, dark on T1, axons stripped of insulation. Some tissue may already be lost. 2014. The lesion persists, still sharp-edged, active. This border suggests chronic inflammation boxed in by glial walls. It's a sign the immune system has stopped attacking but hasn't started cleaning. 2015. More damage, but also a new definition. The inflammation may have subsided, but oligodendrocytes haven't returned. We observe stagnation, dead zones surrounded by struggling tissue. 2016. No new lesions, no dramatic change. But this is the danger zone. When inflammation fades and nothing replaces it, you get sclerosis, scar tissue, functional silence. 2017, you said your brain came alive. The MRI doesn't yet show it clearly, but here's the clue. Contrast fades slightly. Edges begin to blur. This could be a microenvironmental shift 
oligodendrocyte precursor cells starting to migrate, a clearing of debris, a spark. 2018 through 2020, now we see softening. Lesions don't vanish, but they fade. That's not suppression, that's repair. A shift from hyperintensity to intermediate signal suggests partial remyelination. 2021, a holding pattern, no spread, no fresh inflammation, and the gray zone inside the lesion, it looks denser. Axonal preservation is possible. 2022 and 2023, still damage, still shadows on the scan. Likely, glial debris is blocking full repair. This is where many stop, where progress stalls. 2024, shrinkage. The lesion contracts, and for the first time, we see neighboring tissue stabilize. The margins are smoother. The cortex looks thicker. Repair isn't just beginning, it's gaining speed. 2025, this is the best scan yet. The lesion, dimmer, and the band of tissue above the corpus callosum, once hollow, is now filled in. This is not just less damage, it's structural return, clear evidence of remyelination, of axonal protection, of true repair. But none of this happened by accident. Nothing recovers without you. Over the years, I studied everything I could get my hands on, not just blogs and advice I could find anywhere, but published scientific papers. Paper after paper, I wanted to know which molecules drive brain repair, what triggers the production of BDNF, NGF, NAD+, how does weightlifting activate the hippocampus, how does niacin clear debris? I didn't want guesses. I wanted biochemistry, mechanisms, proof. And when I found it, I realized I already had built my recovery around it. It wasn't easy. My first workouts are embarrassing wobbly, weak, but I kept going. Wave loading, weightlifting, interval training on the rower. Every session, a signal to my nervous system, grow, adapt, rebuild. And then came 2025. I added high dose niacin and niacinamide. That's when things accelerated. And now for the first time to me, my MRI is showing it because I don't just want to feel better. I wanted proof. And now I've got it. If you're battling a mess or standing beside someone who is, don't just watch the symptoms, track the comeback and the recovery. This is your life. So take the wheel, rebuild your brain, and become your own evidence.